Now on Talking Solutions, an upcoming national convention for Delta Sigma Theta. That's right. Got Tammy Bass, president of the Las Vegas Alumna Chapter, and Tia Mathis Coleman. Tia, you were in here before with the CCSD Teacher Search. Are you still involved with them? Yes, I am, and we are still looking for teachers for our students here in the Clark County School District. We're always looking for teachers, right? I don't think that ever changes. So it is Delta Sigma Theta, the 2017 National Convention, August 3rd through August 9th. Where is it going to be happening? Our main location, the host hotel, is the Mandalay Bay, and it's our 53rd National Convention, in fact. Wow. So Delta Sigma Theta was founded on January 13, 1913, on the campus of Howard University in Washington, D.C., by 22 wonderful women who knew that there were things that needed to be addressed. This is our heritage and our legacy, and we continue with... With social action today. We were founded on Christian principles and we are the largest African American female organization in the country. Over 900 collegiate and alumni chapters all over the world Okinawa, Japan, Tokyo, Virgin Islands, England you name it, we're there. <laughs> so. There's got to be a lot of pride in following in this great tradition of over 100 years of Delta Sigma Theta. Absolutely. We remember what those 22 women stood for and it has stood the test of time. And so when something's not broken, we don't try to fix it. We follow in their footsteps and what it is that they stood for and what they put forth when they founded Delta Sigma Theta Sorority. Tammy Bass and Tia Mathis Coleman are both with us today talking about the National Convention for Delta Sigma Theta happening at Mandalay Bay August 3rd through August 9th. Tammy, both you and Tia are alumni. Uh Uh-huh of Delta Sigma Theta, but obviously you're both very much involved still. Well, as Tia will tell you, membership in Delta Sigma Theta is a lifetime commitment. We know that going in and we believe in the tenets of Delta Sigma Theta. Our communities will forever need assistance. And so we're here to offer what assistance we can through our five-point programmatic thrust. We have economic development, educational development, international awareness and involvement, political awareness and involvement, and physical and mental health. Those are our five points. We have youth initiatives that are ongoing. Our Delta Gems, Gems meaning growing and empowering myself successfully, those are our high school young women. We have the Dr. Betty Shabazz Delta Academy. Those are our middle school young women. And then we have Embody, empowering males to build opportunities, developing independence. Those are our young men grades six through nine. And those are annual. Those forever keep going. We then have those things that we deal with. We lost a soror to domestic violence. So our stomp program is really important to us. We do that every year. And then we have several sorors who are survivors of breast cancer. And so we make sure that we march and walk every year for the breast cancer walk in honor of them and their survivorship. So we are forever involved in trying to make sure that our communities feel our impact and that it's a positive one, making it better. You are actually reaching down into middle school and high school to get those young people involved with the work that you do with Delta Sigma Theta. Even at that young age, it's like, come on up with us. Be sure you're going to go on to higher learning and be part of ongoing endeavors. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. They need to know that giving back is paramount to our success. We try to instill that in them very early on. So community service is a part of all of our young people's program throughout the year. They understand by the time they leave. And then we have scholarships that we give as well. That's not just the people in our group. We open the scholarships up in partnership with the Ronald McDonald House to youth all over this district. We believe in education. We believe that it's that thing that can change the very landscape of a person's life. And so we're really involved in those kinds of things and those things that we know can make a difference in someone's life for the long term. And the giving back that you refer to makes this a better community, a stronger community. Absolutely. I don't think a lot of people realize until they look under the surface how giving the individuals here in Las Vegas and Southern Nevada really are. Oh, Mm -hmm. I agree. I always tell my friends across the country, we're a very philanthropic community. If someone needs something, they'll put it on the news and people jump to it here. And I appreciate this is our city. We're glad to show our city off August 3rd through the 9th. Thousands and thousands of women wearing red and white are going to descend upon Las Vegas. And we want to show the best of Las Vegas off. We think this is the best city 
city in the world. You are preaching to the choir here. I love <laughs> Las Vegas, and I love shining a light on the wonderful things that happen right here in our town. Tammy, how many women are we looking to have come in to Mandalay Bay? <laughs> You're talking about red and white. There's going to be a sea of it? <laughs> oh. A sea of it. We're looking at at least 10,000 registered. We have sores that come with their families and their friends. It really does become like a vacation spot also. So there's those that are here for business. And then when you come, you want to bring your family along too and see the city. So we're looking at about 10,000 registered deltas, but we are expecting there to be thousands of sores that aren't registered, that are just here to support and enjoy Las Vegas. How often does the National Convention come to Las Vegas? Because it would seem to me, and maybe you'd agree, every year would be good. (laughs) Well, the last time it's been here was 2004. We did have a regional conference here a few years back in 2011. So being a native of Las Vegas, I think that there is no other city that can accommodate the numbers that we bring besides Las Vegas. But we have been all over the country. August 3rd through August 9th, home base for everything with the Delta Sigma Theta 2017 National Convention. Tammy and Tia, we're not really putting it out there that everybody needs to run down to Mandalay Bay. (laughs) I was talking to Willie and she was saying there is an interfaith service where people could come and attend if they wish. Absolutely. We have our ecumenical service on that Sunday and we welcome the public to attend with us. Like I said, we were founded on Christian principles and so that's a huge part of every time we gather. We like to give thanks. And so mostly everything else is closed. Our sorority sisters, that's one of the times that they're able to bring their spouses that have traveled with them and their children. And then those of us who live here can bring our families to give them a taste of what Delta is about on the inside. That's going to be Sunday morning. I believe it's at the Mandalay Bay. I believe it's at the the Mandalay Bay as well. It's going to be a big space, though, because there's going to be a lot of people there. And the nice thing about our church service, the thing I like the most is the proceeds or the offering from that service, they go right back into the community. So whatever money is raised from people giving, they go back to local organizations. And so no matter what city we're in, we always give back to the city that we're in that year. We select organizations and whatever proceeds are raised that day at the church service go right back to the Las Vegas community. I will make sure that as always on our Talking Solutions Facebook page, we will have links for information and a podcast of our discussion today. As part of Talking Solutions, Tammy, What can we do to help you? Well, as Tia said, also being a native, I just want our best to be seen. So be hospitable to them. A lot of them, it's their first time in Las Vegas and they are beyond excited. And so just be our hospitable selves that we normally are. You know, when they ask for directions, tell them we think Vegas is very easy to get around in. But, you know, they may be a little bit lost at times. And I trust my fellow citizens of Las Vegas to show our best during that time because they're going to see what true hospitality looks like. We're going to show them that here in Las Vegas. Vegas. I'm confident of it. And that's all I ask. Just say, hey, you Deltas, when you see us. And we're going to say hi back because we're very excited that we're going to be here. Look for red and white. (laughs) Like Tammy said, I think it's important to welcome them with open arms, but also just support the local chapter. Many people don't realize that our local chapter has been here for 50 years, since 1966, giving back to the community. So throughout the year and throughout Tammy's presidency, there will be opportunities to come and support what we have going on here locally. We are our community service-based organization. We're always giving back. We're always finding ways to help. So we would love to collaborate with other organizations. If there is something that we can all be a part of to make it larger, we are always looking for ways to make our local chapter better. I think outside of the convention, just continuing to network and meet other community leaders so that we can make Las Vegas a better place. Just need to shine a light on what you're doing so that people want to get you involved in their pursuits as well. Absolutely. Pretty exciting. It is. We want to turn up for Delta in Las Vegas and we're going to paint the city red. We love our city and we love our sorority. We do love showing it off, don't we? (laughs) Yes, we we do. do. (laughs) It is the 2017 National Convention at Mandalay Bay August 3rd through August 9th. Thousands. I'm looking for a lot of red and white on the strip. A lot of people will be here for the first time, so we will welcome all of them. Thank you, Terry, for this time. We appreciate it. Not a problem. We appreciate you so much. Tammy Bass and Tia Mathis Coleman, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.